Let's start off with Fresno State. This is a team I like a lot. The Fresno State Bulldogs. 12 and 2 last year, 7 and 1 in conference. They return exactly two offensive starters. Six on defense, though. Number 12, most experienced team in the Mountain West. That is dead last. That number is DFL. Oh, number 129 in the country. That is next to last. Correct. So almost DFL. Uh, head coach Jeff Tedford, 22 and 6 in two seasons after he inherited a team that went 3 and 9 and then 1 and 11 in 2015 and 2016. So this was a remarkable Th- turnaround. This just in. He's really good. He's a good coach. He's he's really good. Yeah. Uh, new offensive coordinator Ryan Grubb, a former offensive line coach. Uh, look, they lose quarterback Marcus uh, McMarion. Uh, four out of five offensive linemen they lose. Their three top wide receivers they lose. Uh, but they got some running backs back, so that's good. Number three, scoring defense in the country last year, 14.1 points per game from 2018. They uh, they have a deep and experienced front seven to lean on, so that's good. They got two starters back in the secondary. Quarterback Jorge Reyna is the supposed heir to the throne, but the position is wide open. Schedule, a little more difficult this year. Uh, so we don't know exactly who the quarterback is going to be. We think we know. Um, but, man, schedule, kind of tough this year. Uh, and with a, not a lot of experience coming back, I don't think that 12-2 and two is doable this year. Agree. But I still got them as, as pretty good. I've got them at 8-4 and four this year. Okay. I got them 6-2 and two in conference. Here's the deal. I've got them losing at USC in, in the opening week. I got them losing to Minnesota in week two. Then you got a bye week. And then you got Sacramento State and at New Mexico State. So after you've had some some rough openings, you get you to got, start your season. Yes, you get to really start your season. Get a couple checks, yep. and then you start your season. Then you got a bye week, and then you play at Air Force, which is a bruising, like you were going to get beat up in that game. That's right. And then after that, you get lucky. You got UNLV and in Colorado, Colorado State. Back to back. You got at Hawaii, which could be a tough one. That's right. Uh, then you got Utah State at home, so that helps. Then you got at San Diego State. I've got them losing that game. And then a win over Nevada, win over at San Jose State. So I've got them losing to Air Force. I got them losing to San Diego State, and then at USC and Minnesota, winning everything else. Eight and four, I think, would be an absolutely remarkable year, due to the fact that I mean, they got nobody back. I know they got nobody back, but in Tedford, I trust. Well, like, it's, they've built a winning culture, I was just and about I think to say, eight and four is really these good. These guys that are coming in aren't aren't bums. I got them nine and three. I think they lose the first two non-conference games. I don't know which of these conference games they lose. I don't think they're going to run through it undefeated with some inexperience or make some mistakes. That our Air Force game is going to be tough. Hawaii is going to be tough. San Diego State, Utah State, my uh, Nevada. Yeah. One of those games I think jumps up and bites them. I just feel like he's he's that much better a coach than everybody else. In this conference, Ooh, I might I mean, this be, conference I'm, got a lot of good, uh, I know that. good coaches. I know that. I felt like four of these teams. I know, <laughs> but but I I just think, who baby, I, I like yeah. I like him. A lot. I drink the Kool Aid. I'm in the tank, and and that's that's what I think. That's I'm, I'm curious because they, you remember? I mean, their defensive coordinator is a boss, and he left. But I don't remember if he left after last season or the season before. But last year's defense was. Fantastic. It was really good. They didn't fall off yeah. at and all. So either way, like we'll see if they can keep this up. Uh it will help out having the um uh, that deep front seven, right, on defense. So that's that's gonna help out a lot. Keep you in a lot of games. You got that right. Uh